so today we went to Joanne's and I've got kind of the start of making the Ever After Just Breathe dress, but this is a weird place to start, but I might start out by doing some of this, by doing the sleeves. So I drew out the sleeves and I wrote down all of the elements that I saw of it. This is going to be the white mesh that's used for this section. Um, so I actually drafted out my forearm like a pattern here. So I think I'm going to cut this mesh section out and then I can start embroidering the flowers on it in gold. Um, but for the lace at the cuff, there is a bit of lace at the bottom of the cuff here. So I dug into where I have trims and bias binding and I found this and I think it'll work close enough. I'm gonna cut out a section of this for the cuff. And then, I guess, get started on this part. I think it'll be nice working on a small section at a time because this is a very embellished project. So, I'm gonna go ahead and cut out the little forearm area. All right, so I cut out the first one, so I'm going to copy this for my other forearm. I wrapped it around and it seems like it will fit really perfectly after it's sewn together. So, this will be my base for embroidery to cut out a second one. Let's see. I trimmed off more because I kind of cut it out bigger than I needed it to, just in case, and then I trimmed it down, which actually, like, that's really close to what I drafted when I wrapped it around my arm, um, and it fit well. So I drafted it pretty close to what the actual sleeve forearm area would be. Um, so cool. I just need to cut out a second one now. So I'm going to do that. To give you an idea of what the finished sleeve will look like on, it isn't sewn together at all, I'm just kind of holding it on, but this is what it looks like on. I think it's going to be really pretty. Okay, so I basically finished my second sleeve, lower sleeve, last night. So I have both of these 
done and now I cut out um, a five inch wide strip of the iridescent fabric that will also be used in the skirt and I gathered that up to here and then I also have the top gathered and it will um, be sewn to the next layer of netting that will have a swirl embroidered on it. I also need to put this gold here because there's a gold trim on the sleeve so I figured I would use this and then I also noticed that there's like either a um, either a sequin or a rhinestone that's on each of the little loopies of the or scallops of the lace that's on the original dress so I figured where did I put that um, that I would do my iridescent um, sequins and I will sew one on each of these little the middle of each um, scallop and I did go to Joann's today, a larger Joann's than the one that's closer to us. And um, I got this, and I got this. So I have two options of that ropey bit on the front of the dress that I said I would probably find a new ropey stuff for because this was too thick. So I will use one of these two, and I'm almost leaning towards the white and gold twist. I think it's really pretty. I might use that on the front of the dress when I get to that point, but I'm basically just focusing on the sleeves right now because they're super detailed. Alright, so I can't remember when I last updated on the progress of these sleeves, so I'm going to do that now. Um, I just finished the sewing on the top of the trim here, and then there's just going to be like one more puff at the top of this. Um, I do need to do the dangly beads here, the same as I did here, um, and I'll probably also do the sequins with the little white bead that you see there so it is the same on each level um i don't remember if i talked about this but i i filled in this space here with beads because i felt like doing that and i also do did sequins in the middle of the flowers with a bead um and i lined i did some gold embroidery thread kind of outline lining the uh floral lace because i felt like it knitted something to make it pop more and add more of something to it and I'm also thinking of doing it again with silver on the inside we might do that might not I don't know um this sleeve is slightly more behind I need to do that embroidery the beading in the spaces to make it match and then I need to do that top trim and I think maybe after I do all of that is when I will embroider the swirls here because it really needs the swirls to be embroidered. And then um, after I do that last top puff um, of sleeve, then I think this will be ready. And um, this is supposed to be kind of like when it's worn, it's supposed to kind of be push together to create that puff that more of a puff effect so I think what I'm going to do is have some tie some strings and so that they're tied and they'll keep this in place like that to um, just kind of more permanent keep that shape 
and I won't have to fuss around with it when I wear it to keep it puffed out and from sliding down my arm and then just being like like that so I think I will tie some strings just to keep it in a permanent puff So I finally finished all of the beading on the upper mesh area. There is supposed to be another row of the dangly pearls, but I feel like I don't want to do too many of those because it might feel annoying. I don't know. I might go back and add them later, but the next part I'm going to do is make the second top puff and um, then I will sew the sleeves close after I get the puffs sewn and then when I have the bodice ready I'll gather the top to match up with the arm hole because it should be plenty big enough that I'll just have to gather and ease it in because I'm gonna have it gathered just like this one was. On this sleeve I did do silver ties so that this puff stays in place. I actually do need to do that on this one as well. Um, but I won't do that to this top sleeves, of course, until the sleeves are attached to the bodice. But the sleeves are nearly done. Yay. Oh, all right. So this is the width of the sleeve I have so far, and this is the width of the fabric I have. I think I'm just going to cut like a strip here and maybe curve the edges slightly. And that will be my top puff. So it'll be gathered up to fit the sleeve. And then I can attach it to the bodice when it's ready later. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and turn the sleeve right sides together, fold it in half. And I'm going to sew them together into the sleeve shape. So the finished sleeves next I think I'm going to work on an under like a bust support the kind that Danielle wears in the movie I'll try to put a picture on the screen to show you what I'm talking about but I want to make like a supportive under bodice thing that wears that goes over the chemise but under the dress so I think I might work on that I might also make a chemise to go under this dress because um, I'm hoping it might help it be more comfortable and maybe take care of sweat and stuff better if I'm like wearing it on a hot day. I got linen and um, it's supposed to be like moisture wicking um, so I would hope that since this whole dress is basically polyester maybe underneath it might help. I don't know. I'm not sure if it's gonna help but I, I'm gonna make like a a chemise with fitted sleeves and I also want to do that because I would like to make a kirtle and like that one would have more fitted sleeves on it so for those are projects for later that I do have in mind I would love to make like an Eowyn dress from um, Lord of the Rings eventually too because I love Eowyn um, in the Lord of the Rings movies okay so yeah I'll be releasing videos of this dress 
um, kind of a section of the dress at a time, probably, because it would be a really long video trying to do as much detailed work in this dress as I am in just one video. Plus, it's going to take me a long time to get this done just because there is so much embellishing. Like, everything you see on this is hand sewn. Every bead. <laughs> I can't tell you how many beads is on this. There's pearls along each of the little sections here. Um, each leaf kind of thing on um, the swirls. Each leaf is like two silver beads long and then for the to make up the leaf there are four um lines of two beads that I did so you know if you ever want to recreate what I made this is how I did the beading the embroidery took a long time uh invest in an embroidery hoop if you're gonna do this I really like this one that I found at Hobby Lobby it really holds well and it's probably the best embroidery hoop I've ever gotten and it wasn't that expensive I think it was maybe I want to say $15 for a three pack of three different sizes um that's probably my best investment that I've gotten during um of like something useful to make this dress um there's all of these beads in the spaces here because I felt like I wanted that filled in there's sequins um, in the middle of each flower with also a little bead, um, so every flower. <laughs> um, and then there's also little beads all over the leaves. Um, sometimes I would put little white beads. My nails look terrible right now. Um, but anyways, <laughs> I put two little beads there. I kind of put little white beads throughout it as well in some places. Um... All of the trim was sewn on by hand. All like all of this was stitched together by hand. Then um we also have these little dangly pearls that I strung by hand with four beads, three the pearl and then the um one single bead. Um I embroidered these by hand. Um yeah. And I glued on all of these little rhinestones. I also did like some gold along here just for funsies. I don't know why. And there's more of these drop pearls. Anyways, it's been, it's taken me three weeks to do these sleeves. And as I made them, I tried to do like the same amount of work per sleeve so that I wouldn't have one full sleeve and then be like, oh my gosh, I have to do this all over again. Like all of it. So I kind of if I finished one thing on a sleeve, then I would go and finish it on this sleeve. And then I would, like, go back and forth. And as I went, made my way up, I would try to keep it even on both sleeves so they got done at the same time. Because you might not know this about me, but with knitting. I've tried knitting socks and, like, hand warmers. But my least favorite part was once I would finally finish one, I would have to make another. <laughs> and sometimes I wouldn't get to the second one. <laughs> So with like knitting or crocheting like a pair of socks or gloves or um, hand warmers or something, I hated because you have to you had to have to knit like the whole thing, um, and finish it because it it's hard to take them off the needles and then it, if you did that it would come apart. I don't know. <laughs> That's ex some experience for me knitting on trying to keep everything even. But anyways, thank you for joining me and have a good day. Bye.